Welcome back to Metal Rules TV, where the underground meets the playground. I'm Evan from Sajikasia. I'm Frederick from Yeah. <laughs> from Yeah? From Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sajikasia. Jeff Rappaport. Dave. <laughs> Dave from what? Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so in the news, Dylan Jerk Skate Plan have a new album coming out called One of Us is the Killer. Sounds like a good mystery. Mm -hmm. It's going to be released on May 14th uh, through their own label, Party Smasher Incorporated. Wow. In partnership with Sumerian Records in North America. Thoughts on Dylan Jerk's Skate Plan? They're New Jersey guys. Yeah, yeah, they are. Uh, I believe their town they're from is called Morris Plains. I've always been a fan of this band because of uh, how many envelopes they're always pushing. Yeah, I feel like even. Uh, Wind up. Even after they kind of departed from all the mathematical um, styles of the early years, some of the stuff on Miss Machine really stuck with me. The, even the melodies, the melodies of it. Uh, I think I'll always like this band. I checked out the teaser for this. Yeah. And it sounds like the album is going to be pretty diverse. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff going yeah. on. Like, yeah. like Mars Volta at parts. Yeah. I thought, and then like had some like heyday stuff of like real mathy and chuggy. Yeah, it was definitely running the gamut. Like, yeah, it was like wow, yeah. it's like almost like you're listening to a different album with each song. Yeah, yeah. What about you? Ed? I've not heard of. Um, I haven't heard a lot of their newer stuff or really their <laughs> older stuff. So it's it's kind of hard for me to say. I don't have much of an opinion. I think, you know, there's some stuff that I can get behind, but for the most part, you like them as a whole. I don't want to say. You know how I feel because I can't really I haven't developed any you know solid <clears throat> opinion. Okay, David, what do you think? Confused. <laughs> Maybe because you walked in a clip and you never heard the band ever. No. Okay, Kenny, <laughs> don't jerk uh, skate plan. Ah, uh, are they are they not local? They are no, they are local. They're from Correct. New Jersey. I think I played uh, "Mind Your Ears," David. I played with one of the guys in Dillinger at a skate plane, and he, they had helmets on with, uh, uh, men part that, dildos? You said it. So, um, dildos. and then they had, like, they were wearing diapers, and I can't remember the name of the band. I don't think that's Dillinger at a skate plane, was it? Were they people yes. wearing diapers and dildos in their head? You know, that sounds like that band that we talked about on tour. We were, <laughs> there was, above a dub. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 Right. Yeah, Mike Patton was definitely be. a fan. Yeah, he's a dead scene. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they actually got recognized as being one of the, you know, I, I don't know if it was uh, that metal documentary that that guy made. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know the documentary. This is very thought-provoking. Everything coming out of your mouth. I'm <laughs> Everything that anyone I'm, said I'm so far is just stupid. Not, yeah. not only is my, <laughs> my confused mind with people I just met tonight, but it goes on all the way to my family. Like, <laughs> shit of what the, the hell mouth. are you trying to say, man? <laughs> um, they are recognized as starting the genre of whatever you Math want to call them. Is that, that's what I was saying. Uh, I've heard I it called say that. that. Right. But, but, Do you think that they're like probably like, I don't know, either... Um, one of the founding members or like, you know, or yeah. early starter of, of Bath yeah. Corps. I, I would say are. them, yeah. along with like, uh, the number 12 looks like you, and yep. uh, which is another New Jersey band. Yep. And Meshuggah, who took it to a whole nother level. I thought I mean, Meshuggah was the gent. Well, I think they also have like the mathematical flavor though. Yeah. You ever hear the faceless, right? And I, I actually never have. The faceless, that's a math metal you want to get into. Yeah, there's just, a bunch of good ones. The End from Canada was a great band. Uh, oh, yeah, I remember that band. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They just came to town with a... Was it Meshuggah? With Meshuggah, yeah. Right? Yep. I do think... I think that was the first time I heard it, though. Math, math Quarter was Dylan Jerk's Skate Plan. Yeah. I, I, I saw them once that they played at March Metal Meltdown. And they were... Uh, I wrote, like, uh, to describe them was chaotical, confusing, and cool. Yeah. 
That's how I summed it up. It's yeah. likely, they have a lot it, of appeal for yeah. me. It's prog rock, but really heavy. Mm -hmm. They're like a musician's band. Kind of. Yes. Which is not something like I said I usually go for, but yeah, they're pretty damn yeah. good. It's the, it's the uh, energy of the sound they have. Right. They have a big sound, and it's... It's brutal. Enough for Mike Patton to work with them? That's that's a lot, a lot to be said. I think there. Mike Patton would also be summed up as chaotical, confusing, and cool yes. as yeah. well. Jeffrey so that's a good mix. Mr. Bungle's first album. I love Mr. Bungle. The best album. Yeah. I ever cannot made. help it. My ass is on fire. Was that? Was, was that? The song? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Have you ever listened to Mr. Bungle? You can look that. You should, you should check up I only on have that. a little bit. Oh, but Yeah, no. you should check up. The, the first only, album is amazing. The only album you need is the first album from 92. There's one song that sounds like Pac-Man. It's like... It's timeless. It's timeless. Yeah, it's great. It's like Faith No More on I've definitely heard it before. Yeah, Faith No More has heard of it. Yeah. It's like Faith No More dropped acid and then <laughs> and then jumped into a pit of screaming babies. Anyway, <laughs> that's pretty much what Mr. Bungle is. Sounds intense. <laughs> Which great. is in the midway of the carnival. Yeah, exactly. Because the whole th the whole theme of the album is with lots of carny banging. Yeah. <laughs> There's like midgets banging bearded women. Carny banging. For sure. All right, Dave, you're gonna grow up quick on this one. Yeah. But speaking of carny banging, there's um something <laughs> called the Possum Queen. Right? <laughs> and, and the, the possum queen possum. would be the young woman who would cater to all the gentlemen of the, the carny folk, and she would be under the trailer, waiting for them under the trailer. Mm -hmm. And she was the possum queen. Is that why the toadies have that one song called Possum Kingdom? Maybe it was just a whole bunch of... It's gotta be. Yeah. Who, who else would name a song that after, knowing, yeah. after not knowing that? Toadies. Only you and the toadies know this, kind of. <laughs> so I think the toadies are the people above the possum queen. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're the they carnies. live in the possum kingdom. Well, they're, they're the, the carnies. carnies. They're the official carny band. Yeah. Every if you Here's look at every carny has a toady shirt. The official carny band. I <laughs> 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 very much like the toadies. <laughs> we love them. The greatest rock band ever. I can't wait to visit the possum queen. <laughs> <laughs> That's like everybody in Singapore, like in Firehouse, right? They go, oh, possum queen, are you there? Just don't, don't treat me bad. <laughs> no, no. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right, that's what we have on the escape plan. Who would win in a fight, Trickster or Firehouse? Possum David? queen. Trickster or Firehouse, who would win in a fight? Firehouse. You oh, Firehouse it. would beat Trickster's ass. You got it, because they're yeah, at the sure. weddings. Yeah. What, what is win? this? And they beat fire. That you so. speak of? This firehouse. Pudding. Wrestling or something? Pudding. Pudding. <laughs> you guys say pudding, too? 